Bye. Bye. No, actually, we're not saying bye. We're just, <laughs> no. We just got here. No, we were just talking about the girls we left out back. <laughs> <laughs> just herded all the girls in for the evening. Yeah. Well, anyway, hi. Welcome to Cooking Cheap. It sure is good to see everybody. It is. Well, I can't see a soul. Well, Except you, a you have no people. faith. Oh, okay. If you look real hard and peer through the glass eye of the camera, you can see all of those fine folk. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish that one would put its clothes on. But well, anyway. Yeah, and this one right here has got uh, a real bad uh, cataract coming <laughs> over the lens. Because <laughs> you can't even see the tally light on. Why are we calling this the Bye Bye Black Sheeps Show? Because uh, <laughs> you're... That's you're, easy for me to say, right? Uh, we slaughtered the black sheep and you're cooking it. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to do a, what, uh, some kind of burger. Lamb patties. Lamb patties. That's what I call my girlfriend. <laughs> uh, oh, sweet lamb patties. Uh -huh. Well, we also have got just tons of mail, oh, the mail. from the old mail pouch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see just what we This continues to pour in. I've got a, just, I brought this one just so everybody could see it. it it's from uh, Lurie. That's right, Lorie McGee. <laughs> Lorie McGee, ah, in she's Homer, a fine lady. In Homer, Arkansas, and uh, she asked for a recipe and said, I hope this is for free. I didn't notice any charge on the screen. Well, there's no charge. You just have to send a self-addressed stamped envelope. envelope. That's but right. she wrote it upside down on a statement on a from state a restaurant. <laughs> I guess she got tired of the food she was serving as a waitress in this place and wanted some good recipes, so we'll send it out to her. Well, someone has written in, Dear Cooking Cheap, That's I don't know which mm -hmm. one of us that is, can you send recipes of 601 and 602? Thank you, Darlene Dupuis, would you say that's Dupuis? <laughs> or, or Dupuis. Dupuis <laughs> of DeRitter, Louisiana. And it, it's this is one of our younger viewers has written this. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, this sometimes is, uh, they come in all decorated with flowers and. This one is things. not in crayon, but it uh, you know could well at least it's legible, isn't mm -hmm. it? That's yeah. very sweet of that person to write, and I'm sure that we have sent those recipes right on to you. And Eileen lucky. Eller of Bristol, Tennessee, has written to us on a very fine sheet of paper. I brought this. Uh, this one is has a watermark on it. Miller Falls Easy Erase Cotton Content oh, Paper. Oh, lovely! People you, spare you, no expense you for this program. You can ball this up and swab your ears out with it. <laughs> Here's one, gentlemen. I thought I ought to write to let you know I really enjoy your program. There's only one thing that drives me crazy, and that's looking through the whole TV guide to make sure I don't miss a program of yours. Please get regular spots if you can. <laughs> and go ahead and lick your fingers, all of us good cooks do. I love something, I have a favor to ask. I lost my recipe for the steak wrapped bacon that Larry Bly did, unless you got the name right. Uh -huh. Could you please see if you can find it for me? Keep up the good work and blah, 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 blah. And uh, says something about uh, an ardent TV viewer, Ruth Ditt, I believe that is. I'm not sure where Ruth is from, but we have a little problem with that, Ruth. Uh, we can't tell you when we're on your local TV station because, you see, we are seen in 40 states. We are. We are seen in 40 states, and we never know where we're being seen until we get letters from there. That's right. So the only way you can find out, the only way you can find out when we're going to be on your local TV station is to contact your local TV station, call them or write them, and ask them because we have no idea. Right. The, well, public broadcasting puts us on in different places at different times, and e some of you are seeing uh, 600 series while uh, the 700 series is being seen somewhere else. So no, that's, that's why the 700 Club. Oh, so, no, oh, that's no you don't look something like something. Tammy at all, <laughs> <laughs> unless you've left your wig back in the dressing room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and your makeup. Yeah, I did. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, what else have we got? Well, this person, Robert Todd of, of Mount Rainier, Maryland. Robert, mm, here, listen to this. Oh, well, that's not very nice. Later. Messrs. Johnson and Bly didn't even say dear. Please send me your recipes for tamales and baked rice. I enjoy your program a great deal and honestly believe that your casual approach encourages many people who might otherwise be intimidated by more professional television culinarians. <laughs> However, as a professional cook, I feel that if you were to embrace our profession, you should look forward to 10 to 15 years apprenticeship before receiving your toque. 
you are doing a great job nonetheless from Robert Todd. Well, Robert, <laughs> we don't want to embrace it. We're not chefs, we're cooks, and there's a big difference. And we're probably making more money <laughs> doing it this way than we would be that's if we right. knew what the rules are. Uh, that's right, that's right. And finally, last but not least, I was visiting and saw this on TV. Something copied it crudely on a tiny slip of paper, didn't get if it was send money, let me know. Mary Polsters, is that uh -huh. her name? Polsters of Wheatland, Maryland, was recipe that would be sent by something or the other. Chop suey and something in a wok, two men cooking. <laughs> it might give their names, but I didn't get them. Thank you. Liked letter much. <laughs> but anyway, well, we just always enjoy reading the mail. We it do. gives us endless things to do at parties. And we're not making fun of them. We're just having a good time with no. them. We do try and answer all of them, uh, at least uh, to send the recipes. Yeah, we'll send you the recipe. Right. we got to work with lamb. Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> Let's go over here. And I never did tell what I'm Our doing. Our family photo is upside <laughs> oh, no. down. Have you noticed? Well, they're, do they're doing the Lionel Richie imitation. <laughs> They're dancing on the, seal, the ceiling. Really and people have besmirched up on these uh -huh. fine faces, I too. Know. My mother, I'll be in touch through oh, her attorney. Speaking of photographs, what? we get an average of four or five letters a week concerning our pig over here on the wall. And where we got it from. And where we got it. So let me tell all of you, we do not control the rights to the pig. We know a lot of pigs, but this is not one that we are personally... Uh, in charge of, we bought it at the Williamsburg Pottery in Lightfoot, Virginia. That's all we know. Well, why don't we give them a free commercial one well, time, Well, I mean, Johnson. that's where we got it. And it was several years ago, so I have no notion that they got any more. Oh, all I'm right. sure they do. Well, anyway, you it go ahead. one of their more popular ones. I'm doing a fried green tomatoes today, but Larry, you need to get yours in the broiler. I'm doing you? something really strange here. Parsley well, what lamb, else is new? Parsley <laughs> lamb patties. And this is from one of our good viewers. Where are you? This is from one of our good viewers from uh, Regina Cox of Van Sant, Virginia. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Uh -huh. it Van Sant, Virginia? Yep. Parsley lamb patties. And you start out with a pound of ground lamb. And this is freshly ground this very afternoon. I stood in line behind all sorts of strange and curious people at the supermarket. And you know, I had to, it, it, they don't have this very often, ground, I mean. So what you have to do is you have to go ring the little buzzer and, uh, and light up the little guy in the back, the, uh, what's his name, the butcher, or whatever. And he comes it, was out. Was it Price or Price? He comes out and <laughs> or, goes, ah, what do no, you want? No, what's that? No, they're not even around anymore. What's so, that? What's uh, our friend that trims the edge off all of the meat? Alex. Alex. It was yes. Alex. Alex. Yes, indeed. And Alex came out and says, yeah, what do you want? No, he was real sweet about it. And I says, I need some ground lamb. And they'll grind it up for you fresh. Ground lamb. So first he had to chase it around for a while. <laughs> no, he didn't do that at all. But anyway, we're going to put that in there. And if it wasn't Alex, it was an Alex lookalike. It was certainly an Alex lookalike. <laughs> That's right. Now we need a half teaspoon of salt. <laughs> A little dab will do you. And a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Close enough for government work. And a <laughs> half a cup of chopped parsley. And I still have some left from out of my garden. It's just barely hanging on. Still smells good. Yeah, it does. It smells real good. You know, Johnson, parsley is good for your breath. Did you know that? No. Hey, you know what? I tell you that for a reason. No, I'm not. These, uh, our, our wonderful stage Could technicians Could you hand me some here. of yours? Yeah, I don't have sure. quite enough. Uh, they have not turned on the electricity to the kitchen today, so nothing we got's working right now. <laughs> Oh, how humiliating. I know. I, I guess Rex didn't pay the bill or well, something. <laughs> we're talking raw lamb burgers here in about 15 minutes, boys and girls. And <laughs> hey, look at them now. They're I'm all sure, running. Where do you do it? Where do you do it? I'm sure it's someone's going to take care of it while we're talking and casually going on with the program. Right. All right, there we go. Know Dropped that the show must that, go on. And we're going to put that in there also. Boom, 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 boom. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that lovely? Gorgeous. People are running even as we speak. A teaspoon of grated lemon rind. This is the part that takes a little while, and I'm going to grate on this right now, like I've wow. been grating on you <laughs> right. down through the years. 
<laughs> so while I'm doing that, I will right. go back to Mr. Johnson, who may want to be in preparation of what it is he's trying well, to do. Well, let me tell you, there's a sad story there in hangs the tail. Oh no. All right. We were supposed to tape this show. I told you never show, bring that tail and, in here again. We're, we're, we are on tape. We were supposed to tape this show a week ago. Uh -huh. And because of illness here on the staff, we were not able to do it. Oh no. And Was it I'm, anything I'm serious? Doing, uh, well, I don't know. There's what do you need your oven set Somebody, at? I don't need the oven. I thought you needed the Why boiler. are you going on about it? Because I needed the stove. It wasn't on either. Oh, That's well, it's on now. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm doing these uh, green uh, fried tomatoes. Well, I went. They get and, right snappy around here sometimes. Yep, I bought the last green tomatoes that were to be found in our farmer's market. Oh, go away. And so I had and the I mean prettiest that. batch of green tomatoes. Well, I, I was left with these green tomatoes and I called everybody I knew and I said, how do you keep green tomatoes from getting ripe? Which is an unusual question because nobody knew for sure. So I put them in a dark place, separated. Well, they, one of them got so ripe it rotted. Oh no! This one ripened up. That's the up one we're using today. <laughs> and got cracks on it. Uh, this one is semi-ripe, and I had two that were still green. So that's what a green tomato looks like, and I will try very, very hard to. Uh, well, now what's the answer to the question? I don't know. I hope somebody will write and tell us how do you keep a tomato from getting ripe? That's the reverse of what people actually normally do. Right. That's right. It was a problem that came up that we were not anticipating, really. Right. And so I suggested that he best not put it in a paper bag because if you recall a couple of years ago, right. we went through the paper bag flap, right. so to speak. And I said That is, you, if you put tomatoes in a paper bag, they'll get ripe. That's right. So Just I told like you bananas. not to do that. Yeah. A lot of people don't believe that. So, uh, hmm? so anyway, I put, put them in the refrigerator. refrigerator. Huh. Not true. Well, no, then they'll get nasty. <laughs> then they get real well, anyway, mushy. Well, anyway, on with the recipe. What now, do you say I've the got camera some... people get in on the program. Yeah, why not? You know, <laughs> right? Just oh, thanks, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Just anybody it, else right. like to say anything? <laughs> yeah. Anybody else got an opinion? Carol, you got? Oh, anyway, breadcrumbs. Yeah. Oh, hey, you now said that right. No, and really, I'm he putting, says it wrong. I'm putting some salt, that's to taste, and some pepper, to taste, into the breadcrumbs so I have uh, flavored breadcrumbs. One taste would be enough. Right. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to mix them up a little bit because this is just a real simple little batter. Here is the very well-known large egg, and I will break that down. Ooh. A lot of people call Johnson a large egg down through the years. Yeah, Humpty Dumpty and all that stuff. <laughs> and we'll just beat this egg up just a little bit here. Dun, 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 dun. And we need just a, a, a tad of water in it. So uh, let me go over and get some water while Bly, you look right. like you're ready to go on. Yeah, what I've done is I have grated up a lemon rind complete with made in America and the name of the lemon on the outside is all right in there. <laughs> it's all written on the outside. There's nothing you can do about it. Good idea to reach in there after you get finished doing that and pull out the leftover. <laughs> Don't want to waste anything. Now we're going to take that and stick it in there. Also, that should be about a tablespoon. No, excuse me, a teaspoon. Eh, six of one half dozen of the other. <laughs> uh, and now the only other thing we need is a clove of garlic, and we need to mince it. And I have my little. Is this a what, is this a mincer or a squisher? That's a squisher. Well, I'm not going to mince it. I'm going to squish well, it. Well, you've never minced. Words. I don't want to smell like garlic for the rest of the evening. I have some social events to attend to this evening, and I'm tired of people saying, <laughs> "What is that? Must be Bly." So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to, well that didn't do much. Stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> now you've done it, you broke your mincer. <laughs> no he doesn't, oh, somebody just does said you don't know nothing about machinery. All right, I'm going to put another one in because that one didn't go anywhere. This is a bigger one. You see, if they work just right, they'll just go and fly right out of there. They're fun when they explode right through there. Hang on a second. Let me try another one. These are wonderful things to have because, there you go, that's the way it's supposed to do. Because uh, they save you a lot of time and then all you have to do is open that up and take that out and clean it off and wash it and it's all finished, it's over with. That's it. Now. I'm going to take the old hands 
or the young lovely hands in this case, and I'm going to oh. <laughs> give me a break. I'm going to mix it around with my head. There is no shortcut for doing it this way. But I'm telling you, there's no shortcut. Just get in there with your fingers. Why couldn't we put it in yeah, the food processor? Now, you know, I have read somewhere where if you smush this stuff up too much, you, you lose all the natural aeration of it. <laughs> and No, it's true, and it gets real smushy. Yeah, you don't want to do that, all right? You don't want to do that. So just work with it as much as you need to to mix the lemon rind and all that. Now what we'll do is we'll, we'll form this into four, it says, patties. Patty, Laverne, and Maxine. And Maxine. <laughs> and we're going to put those in a little pan, and we're going to put them under the broiler here in a little bit. Forming them with your hands. And you don't want to smash them too tight, because it really does. This, this thing with getting them too smashed, <laughs> they, uh, they don't work right. Four of them it should make. And this is coming out pretty close to that. I only have room for three in here, so I'm not going to make the fourth one. But take my word, there is a fourth one in there. Makes four very nice patties. And you see there would be room for one, one more patty if we were to do that one. That's the proof. Now what we're going to do is take these patties, and we're going to put them under the broiler. And it says seven minutes for medium, eight to nine minutes for well done. Should be just about right. Going to put them under the broiler right now. And that's it. Oh, that's amazing. That's the recipe. Very simple. It's got that lemon rind in there and a little garlic and should be real nice with the parsley and everything. Well, now, Larry. Should be right, just done oh. right at the end of the program. Now, what I've done is I've dipped my tomatoes into a beaten egg and our seasoned breadcrumbs. And I've got a little bit of oil over here in the pan and I'm frying them in the oil and I'm going to drop them right down in here being very... You really ought to let these dry for about 15 minutes before you put them down in the hot oil. But I, who's got 15 minutes on a 30-minute show, right? Right. Yes, that's correct. So uh, anyway, they're in there. And this first batch I put in appears to be very close to being done. So I'm going to take them out. And put them on this little trivet to dry little cake pan and I'll put that right over here with a get back on there and let these go and I want to be interested I know I'm going to be interested here in seeing how these uh, not quite green ones these slightly ripe ones do and see how they come out now as soon as I get these fried we're going to do a real nice sauce to go on top of this oh will this be a tomato sauce uh, <laughs> yeah, a but sauce for the tomato as opposed to a sauce tomato. of the tomato if we want to get yeah. picky about it, you know, if we want to be linguistically correct. I gotta Why wash, are you holding your I gotta hands? Wash my, well, because You're holding them so funny. <laughs> I, gotta, I got lamb. Oh. It feels like lanolin. You mean of. like little lamb chop, like Sherry Lewis and lamb chop? Uh -huh. You have ground up that poor defenseless little woolly creature. Now be hmm. careful that a lot of children watch this show and you get them oh, all upset right. and enough oh, for I, that's Next right. You know you'll have the parents league this, on our Yes, selves. we're using artificial <laughs> lamb. Uh, well, that doesn't sound too good for our underwriters. Hmm. No, this is the, the real. Oh, they're just they're still making a little science. I, this uh-oh. Well, that green tomato didn't want to do its thing. All right, well now these red tomatoes are doing pretty good. All I things don't think being this equal. is working. We're going to be eating raw lamb here in a couple of minutes. Do you have it on broil? Lower oven, broil. Bait. Okay, have you got the temperature turned all the way up? No. Oh, it's got to go on broil up here. Yes. Oh. Like we said, he just is dangerous. I have not machinery. used this. I have not used this broiler two times in seven years, so don't give me a hard time about it. Well, we're not giving you too hard a time about it. <laughs> now, I've got to dump all this grease in something. <laughs> well, let me get you a container. Well, do we have a disposable one? No. 
Oh, it'll break that fine Franciscan oh, china. Oh, it throw it Wait in a minute. There. I know I can find something up here that we can put it in. <laughs> sure we can. Sometimes we have programs that run real smoothly. And then other times we have programs like this one. Well, I thought this one has gone fairly well, considering. <laughs> <laughs> considering All right, now what? I'm going to take these babies and put them over here on this thing so that I can make the sauce. Raw lamb. Oh, no. What is it? Well, that just doesn't sound too palatable, you know? What is that? Is that a raw lamb shake? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get rid of this stuff. Now what are you going to do? Well, i got to put a little more of this back in. I poured too much of it out. Okay, now we have to sprinkle flour. Now this is your basic roux. Maybe roux. while I'm doing this, you could read the letter that the witch said she had today. Well, should we do that or yeah. should we show them how to make well, this let's, mess? Well, let's do the, both of them. Let's show them how to make the mess. The first. recipe first. Put the recipe up on it soon. Parsley lamb patties from Regina Cox of Van Sant, Virginia. You got your pound of ground lamb, a half teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of pepper, half cup of chopped parsley, teaspoon of grated lemon rind, a clove of garlic minced. And you just stick it under a broiler for about nine minutes. Make sure the broiler is turned on. Just stick it. And that you know how to operate it. The fried tomatoes. Mr. Johnson's all nervous and yes. mashed and greased. Well, you need uh, <laughs> one and a half cups of sour cream, six firm green tomatoes, one egg, one a tablespoon of water, and salt and pepper to taste. So I'm cooking this flour into a roux. And, uh, oh, oh, breadcrumbs, oil, two tablespoons of flour, and one tablespoon of chopped parsley. Oh, I didn't know. There was more than one page to that. Well, that's the recipe. Now, and we should have coming by momentarily, <laughs> making a second or third pass, our uh, kitchen witch. She's a little dusty. I don't think we better. <laughs> Been up there in the rafters for a couple of weeks while we were off. I can tell you one thing, we're not going to be eating any lamb today. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be even close to ready in three minutes. Well, the tomatoes will be good. The tomatoes will try, and we'll give you a report next week on how <laughs> good the lamb was, all right? It's going to town in there, but unfortunately, it's just starting to get going real good. Hey, guys, love your recipes. Just got out of the hospital where I had to have one of them ectomies. <laughs> that you probably can't say on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Got the recipes for me. Elva Teaberry of Mumford, <laughs> M Minnesota. Elvin Teaberry. Has well, had an ectomy. <laughs> has had an ectomy. Well, we'll have some, some suitable uh, yeah, something, culinary delights something that you can soft have. Something <laughs> soft <and> for <clears throat> an ectomy victim. That's right. Now, well, this is real pretty, what you're making up here. Well, this is just a little Are, sauce. You're doing that with sour cream? Uh-huh. I thought sour cream curdled when you got it real hot. Well, no. It will scorch the bottom of the pan, which makes it very, very hard to clean. Could I have a bowl to put this in? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> makes it real hard to clean, yes. I imagine. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I forgot I need to put in some <laughs> parsley here. I don't think we're going to make it <laughs> Oh, this yeah, show. we will. <laughs> Oh boy, doesn't this look pretty. Now this is my, my sauce for the tomatoes. <laughs> Excuse me, I just remember we didn't have anything to eat with. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, let me show you the uh, lamb burgers are, uh, as you can see, are almost done. <laughs> Long. If you want them a little rare. Well, I don't. We're gonna put those back in there for the staff to eat. Do you, do you have a focus? For us I do time? indeed. But we um, are going to try yes. <laughs> the part that got done. <laughs> oh, oh, me. Well, Which one of these is the green? I want to well, try the green. W one of these is green. The unidentified flying tomato wedge. Uh -huh. and here's now, is that supposed to go on top of it? Yes, it is. Well, be Here. snappy. We're running out of time. Oh, I think we've got enough for this. <laughs> I'm afraid you're right. Well, maybe the lambs will be ready by next week's show. Mm-hmm. 
no taste whatsoever. <laughs> it doesn't have any taste. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you do that? <laughs> that's, that's absolutely amazing. It's true. This, this has no flavor whatsoever. Well, I'm disappointed because it looks so pretty. I believe you need a, a, a more highly seasoned flour. I think you do. We're going to work on these. Yeah, oh. We'll be back Ollie. another time. Oh. <laughs> That's a threat. <laughs>